How's it going guys? Subscribers, viewers, whatever you are. Hope you're having a nice day. So I led with my Bronzong and I predicted him to use Stealth Rock so I switched into my X2 because he has Magic Bounce and I asked him and he said he predicted me to try to give Magic Bounce his Stealth Rock so he used Ice Beam instead of Stealth Rocks which uh, it is kind of predictable uh, to switch into your X2 and try to Magic Bounce everything and he played that um, really well and went for the Ice Beam instead of Stealth Rocks. But anyways, I tried to use the Double Protect just to get enough health from Leftovers to live another Ice Beam, and I didn't get it. It only has like a 50% uh, chance, so that's a oh well. And now I go for the obvious super effective Ice Punch. He can't take another one, and he's going to switch into his Blastoise, which is okay. So now I'm going to switch into my Blastoise, and he uses Rain Dance, which is kind of weird because you don't see too many Rain Dance teams in UU. So that was this is probably like my second time ever seeing one. So I used Hydro Pump, and that did a lot of damage to his Zapdos. So I was thinking of Aquatel would kill him because Aquatel has priority and will go first, and Aquatel did not kill him. He had 1% health left, which kind of sucks because, you know... 1%, that's like nothing. And then he hit me with the super effective Thunderbolt and it killed my Blastoise. But anyways, uh, this part sped up because it's really stally. It's just him using Substitute with his Kingja and me using Reflect. And yeah, it's like four minutes long and it was actually forever because some turns it took him like 30 seconds to pick his move. And so it took forever in the game and... He's just setting up Rain Dance and stuff, and like I said earlier, I have I really don't see too many Rain Dance teams in UU, but this guy's obviously trying to run one, and it almost worked out for him. Uh, he, uh, he did pretty well, so anyways, this is where it goes back to normal speed. I did not set up the Reflect, and I was going to, but he got a flinch, which was pretty lucky on his part, so he gets the double Waterfalls, which kind of sucks, and I'm going to lose my Bronzong this turn, but I do have Reflect up, so I'm going to go into my Chandelier, because I know he can live a water move with the Reflect, and since he can live a water move, I'm going to hit him with the super effective, uh, which, what's it called, Energy Ball, but I flinch, which kind of sucks, but like I said, I can easily tank this guy, especially now that he has the burn on him, and I run Energy Ball on my Chandelier, and a lot of people don't think uh, that Chandelier would have Energy Ball, because it's kind of weird for a Fire-type Pokemon to have a Grass-type move, but I like to run it, because a lot of people, like I said, don't see it coming, and it's kind of funny. So anyways, I go into my Hariyama and hit him with Fake Out, and now I'm going to go for the Stone Edge, but it misses. I mean, that happens. Stone Edge, Stone Edge only has like 80% accuracy or whatever. So he kills my Hariyama. And I'm down to a chandelier that has barely any health left and my Heracross. So I go into Heracross, hit him with a close combat. I'm at .67 defense. He hits me with a scold with the rain up, and I manage to survive it. Heracross is a boss. I mean, I have a defense drop, there's rain, and he hits me with the water move, and I manage to survive. So I killed his Blastoise with close combat. I now have the Moxie boost. And I'm going to kill this clay doll easily with the close combat. And I'm at two times attack. And this is looking like I actually might be able to make a comeback. In comes the Togekiss. Who cares? Close combat its face. It's dead. I'm now at 2.5 attack. And here comes in this Nidoking uh, with 94% health. And it resists it. And I managed to kill it. Good job, Heracross. And you've got to love a Moxie Boost Heracross. I mean... Uh, that was a good game, and uh, I was actually surprised that I won, but Heracross is pretty pretty awesome and was able to sweep his team. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and you should subscribe if you want to watch some more battles.